This is without a doubt the best way to defend trips tight end in Madden 23. It's really simple. You can run this defense pretty much all game, and it's pretty much guaranteed to really make it difficult for trips tight end players to do uh, kind of what the offense is designed to do to attack with the best players that they have. Um, and I'm going to show it to you today. It's out of the dollar three two formation. If you want to get access to my entire dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of my Man Twenty Three offensive and defensive ebooks. We're getting ready to drop another rendition of Dollar into the Patreon as well, uh, kind of doing some deep dives into specific adjustments against some of the best formations in the game. So if you are not a member yet, it's a great time to become one. Ten dollars will get you access to everything over at the. Patreon patreon page all right guys so let's take a look here at how i like to play uh trips tied in when i'm in dollar and essentially if you think about it um the best thing that what does trips tied in do what does trips tied in do really 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 well if you think about it it spaces the field uh horizontally well it can it has some decent corner routes um there's really two or three players that you're trying to kind of hone in on and that's the main stuff that it really does well, okay? So with that in mind, what I like to do is go ahead and have deep route KOs on both my safeties and deep out zone knockouts as well. You could get away with just deep route KOs if you know that you're playing trips. And then pretty much we're gonna come out in baseline dollar and we're gonna play really, really good defense. So the play is DB fire two, and the setup for this defense is basically this. We're gonna press and there's a couple things that we have to pay attention to. One of the, 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 the two of them involve the left side of the screen. So the first thing that we have to pay attention to is verticals. And there's two main routes and verticals that can really hurt you. The first one is this fade over here on the left side. Now, if you're in a soft squat, you see right there, like we're able to play it quasi okay. But what some people will do, if you think about dollar, um, you know, you might put this guy on a cloud or you might put this guy on a hard flat, right? Even a cloud flat. Because we're base aligned, that corner is misaligned. And so what's going to happen is he's going to miss his press. And that can be a potential big play if you don't soft squat over there on the left. But we don't necessarily want to soft squat because if we do soft squat, it can leave us vulnerable to other things, okay? So that's that's one thing. Now, one other little quick pro tip, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but in trip side in, when you run your trips to the wide side of the field and you run cover three, sometimes this outside third won't play the deep fade out of verticals very well. As you see right there, he doesn't play it very well, okay? So that's that's problem A. Problem B, specifically when it comes to trip sets like this, is what they can do from a zone coverage beating play with verticals. And it's really this quick throw right in this little pocket. That is really difficult to defend in zone. Those are the two things people are gonna try to do to you if you run this defense. And so the best way to counter this is to simply man it up. Now, in dollar, I do still think it is worth bringing your safeties into the box every single time. You don't have to, but I think it's worth it. So we're gonna bring the safeties down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna man up that left side safety onto the outside receiver. That is gonna take away pretty much everything he can do. The only thing that it doesn't necessarily always take away is the C route. But if you know, if you watch, if you have a deep route knockout, which let me, um, let me spy these guys right here. So if you have, I like to man them up and shit outside. If you, have deep route knockout in man coverage. If he's even close, it's not gonna be a completion, okay? It's a hard pass to consistently hit. And this is out of the curl flat play. A lot of people like this. One thing you can do um, specifically at a dollar against a trips set is you can show blitz. If you look here, the one problem is it does move that slot. I don't like that necessarily, but you can, it will get you a little better coverage, but it will get you worse pressure. So anyway, let's say we did a defense like this. And if you just watch the C route, sometimes he can fry to the sideline. Okay, you gotta be aware of that. That's why I like to shed outside. That's why I like to walk the safeties down because just by doing this right here, it really helps a lot, okay? 
Now, the other player that can hurt you is that vertical seam. So what I like to do is I like to take that left side linebacker on the trip side, and I'm going to man him up. So now if they run that verticals play, this throw is potentially intercepted. It's not, you know, again, I got to click on there. I got to be able to click on and make play, but that's potentially intercepted. One thing I think is helpful against dollar uh, or against trips is to show blitz first and then uh, press because you can move those safeties while they're coming down. That'll help a little bit. Uh, but anyways, so we're going to man up that guy. Okay. Now you have kind of an option on the third receiver and the third receiver is actually probably the most dangerous receiver in this formation because he's the one that gets the best routes. So again, there you see, I just got to click on and I'll be able to make a play there. But the, the third receiver in trips, what I would recommend is bringing this safety down here and cross manning him onto the third receiver because he, the third receiver's routes are going to break relatively about 10 yards or so. And so if you watch this play, PA slot corner, for example, this is a very popular play in trips. So if you watch this play, now we don't really need a soft squat over there, right? We can either put a cloud flat or we could put an outside third. Kind of up to you. I really like the cloud flat um, because it does help against slant post to the tight end, okay? And then, like I said, we'll just call the blitz off for just a second because I just want you to see this. Watch this corner route to PA slot corner. You will see here that it looks like it's open, right? But it's really not. And the reason it's not is because for whatever reason, when you cross man out a dollar, it really does a good job against spread sets such as trips, and it can get out there better than you might think. So just that simple cross man, it really gives dollar trouble or it really gives trip side in trouble because it looks open, right? That's not super open. Okay. You really got to freeform that to the sideline. And the easiest way to counter that, the easiest way to counter that is this right here. I'll show you. Just put this guy in a third, put that guy on the right in a third instead of a, instead of a, uh, a cloud. And oftentimes what will happen is he'll bracket that just enough. Sometimes he'll flat out pick it himself. Okay, so that's my favorite way to defend the trip side. Now let's talk about the tight end side. So in the tight end side, there's really a couple things they can do. Um, really the, the main things you're going to get to the tight end side. You're going to get a deep crosser from someone on the trip side. So it might be something like this, okay, where they do like a deep, deep post, deep crosser, right? If you just put a simple outside third or outside quarter, that will pretty much bag the the deep route to to green. Now the streak to the tight end will be open, but it will take away that crosser. And so if you think about from a user perspective, you can easily use that streak up the seam. Really, what I like to do is a simple outside third. I think the outside third is the best. Now the one thing I wish is I I wish that that outside third was close. Um, one way you could get that like that is to basically just move this guy in the show blitz feature. But honestly, you know, it's probably just best that he stays out wide like that. Okay, so we've manned up the left side. If you think about it, we've manned up the left side. And then on the right side, we have a third. And then we have our user. Now, I like to send five against trips a lot because it's really, really hard for them to pick up the blitz. But if you want to send four, um, then I would just man the tight end up like this. That will pre, this right here is really hard for trips tight end to beat. The main route combo they have to be able to attack this is really this concept right here. And if they run this, what you wanna do is you wanna kinda carry up here and then you wanna snap back on the slant, force them to have to throw that tight end post route over the middle where you have a cloud flat that's coming into the middle of the field and you have the man up that's coming across to help bracket that tight end post. This is my favorite defense for trips. I think it's super simple, but it's super effective. If you want a little bit easier one, more of a zone base, maybe something like this right here, this is fine as well. What I would really uh, make sure that you're doing here, if you're gonna run this defense, you really wanna bring these guys down. You need to man up that number two receiver because it'll take away pretty much everything he's gonna do. 
and then you you make sure that you pass commit when you pass commit the blitz is insane against trips um as you can see right here okay so that's how i like to defend trips a couple different setups for you thanks for watching the video if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook head down to the description and go join the patreon ten dollars will get you access to all of the ebooks over there